in 15th symphony there is no music which is crazily fast it's placed between quite fast but not really fast relatively slow but not unbelievably slow even if he says largo but the movement itself is is not hopelessly slow so i don't think he was interested in extremes in we call it in russia pyrotechnics pyrotechnics you know it has a very very powerful climax before the end very powerful climax the last symphonic big statement and then he revisits the end of second movement of fourth symphony practically and composes even better than in the fourth symphony even better the, the last pages of 15th symphony is a miracle it's it's a it's not only i'm not here very soon i will depart it's also he he already describes where some something we don't know where but something is like this there this is how i hear this symphony if shostakovich was placed in the beginning of 21st century he would find even more reasons to be sarcastic and even very negatively critical, maybe even very openly, which was not his style, very openly critical or outspoken. I'm sure of it. And I'm not talking about Russia only. Actually, I'm not talking about global space rather than one country, global space. We are not living in, in the times uh, where uh, things are in harmony. It's, it's a very match of uh, cacophony, we call it. I myself made a couple of careful statements and I very much feel that Russia is a very European country. I don't know how and I don't know when and I don't know who will make it known and make it clear that this is the only way for Russians to feel it will be totally ridiculous to see that uh, there is a country which is a little bit closer to Europe. That's why it's European. And Russia is not so European because there is another 200 kilometers. You know? That's, it's totally ridiculous. What Russia produced gave the world so many phenomenal artists, creators, one has to understand, and it, you don't have to be in a White House or in the Kremlin to, to be told. You simply have to know the world a little bit. Then you understand that yeah, we love French or German music maybe as much as in Paris or in London or in Munich or, or in Rome people love Russians because this is a natural harmony 